Hi all, happy Boxing Day. If you play the lotto, you're a mug. Now what do I mean by mug? A mug, a drinking cup, usually cylindrical in shape, having a handle, and often of a heavy substance, as earthenware. Obviously I don't mean that, I mean number 4 down here. British slang, a gullible person, a dupe, a fool. And guess what? I play the lotto. Yeah, I figured it's about time I start admit admitting my flaws. 2018 is fast approaching, so it's a good time to start. Now, to be fair, I don't spend hundreds of, doll hundreds of dollars on the lotto. I might spend uh, $2 or $3 on the lotto, maybe once or twice a week. <laughs> and probably the maximum amount I would spend in a week is only about $5. Now that doesn't mean it's smart to do this, I admit I, I would recommend never playing the lotto. Your chances of winning are very slim, but I still do. I'm trying to work out why, but I still do. So for example, tonight there's this game called Oz Lotto. This is not advertising the lotto at, by any means, I'm just <laughs> showing you what I would normally do. I would never buy their quick play options because they always want to charge more money, like you can buy $47 worth of lotto tickets if you want. Um, or more. I always go create create your own and I choose the minimum cost. So for example, tonight's game, one game, $1.30. Right? So you can just let them randomly choose it or do whatever you, whatever you want to do. So one game, $1.30. Another game I might sometimes play is, or I usually play more often I guess than that game would be the Monday and Wednesday Gold Lotto. It's only got a small uh, jackpot of one, it's only got a small prize pool of one million dollars, not prize pool, sorry, their first division is one million dollars. Again, I would create my own and I would buy the minimum. They force you to buy at least four games, so that's two dollars forty. So maybe on a, on like a average week I might buy one of these or maybe two of these, one on Monday, one on Wednesday, so that's less than five dollars a week I'm spending. So in a year, that'd be less than $250, but quite frankly, you do win occasionally, so maybe I'd be spending maybe $200 a year. Sure, it's $200 down the drain, but it gives me that hope of not having to go back to work. <laughs> Silly I know, but what can I say? Now I've studied uh, statistics at university, so I know how to calculate all the odds. Here on their website, they tell you exactly the odds. First of all, they say the lot is committed to providing our customers with a safe, secure and friendly environment in which to play our games. For most people, playing lottery games is fun and entertaining. However, for a small percentage of people, playing can become a problem. Responsible play is all about being informed, having fun and knowing your limits. If playing lottery games is no longer fun for you or you're concerned about someone close to you, help is always at hand. Oh, aren't they so supportive of us? I guess legally they have to say all this. So for example, that game tonight that I bought one ticket in, to get the maximum prize, seven winning numbers. Odds of winning based on one standard game are 45,379,620 to 1. So I've got a 1 in 45 million chance of winning $30 million or whatever it is tonight. I like in these pictures how they always show happy people. Look at this lady here, so happy. She obviously won big, didn't she? And I've noticed that most lottery sites always have this too, real winners. As if there's a fake winners, <laughs> as if they're putting on a big scam here. Luckily in Australia, the lottery is heavily government regulated, so uh, you're pretty much guaranteed that this is all legit, <laughs> unless the government are in on it too. I don't think they are in that they're getting a heap of tax from this. That's the whole reason this is allowed to go on, isn't it? The government make a mint from tax. Lots of people call the lotto a stupidity tax. I kind of agree. Um, it's a way for the government, instead of raising the official tax, they just have these lotteries and they guarantee this, themselves an income, don't they? And typically people who are smart and have lots of money wouldn't bother playing the lotto. It's usually the poor people who do this because they want to try to get out of their little rut. But I wouldn't call myself stupid, but yet I play. So there's something else going on here. It's not just for the stupid, it's for others as well. Uh, so I did a bit of investigation 
here we go. This is just from Wikipedia. The purchase of lottery tickets cannot be accounted for by decision models based on expected value maximization. The reason is that lottery tickets cost more than the expected gain, as shown by lottery mathematics. So someone maximizing expected value should not buy lottery tickets. So yes, from a rational point of view, you should not buy lottery tickets. You'd be much better investing your however much a year into a mutual fund or whatever, right? Going on, the ticket may enable some purchasers to experience a thrill and in indulge in a fantasy of becoming wealthy. If the entertainment value, or other non-monetary value, obtained by playing is high enough for a given individual, then the purchase of a lottery ticket could represent a gain in overall utility. In such a case, the disutility of a monetary loss could be outweighed by the combined expected utility of monetary and non-monetary gain, thus making the purchase a rational decision for that individual. Hmm, I guess that's a kind of a formal way of saying that people like that little bit of a chance, that thrill of maybe winning and maybe knowing that they could win and, you know, be able to retire early or whatever it may be. So there is a bit of an extra thing to this rather than just a monetary experience. And I think that's where I fit into it. I found this other little bit of text. Head down to your local convenience store, slap $2 on the counter, and fill out a six-numbered Powerball ticket. It will take you about 10 seconds. To get your chance of winning down to a coin toss, or 50%, you will need to spend 12 hours a day, every day, filling out tickets for the next 55 years. Williams, who studies lotteries, could have simply said that the odds of winning the $590 million jackpot were 1 in 175 million, but that wouldn't register. People just aren't able to grasp 1 in 175 million. Williams says, it's just beyond our experience. We have nothing in our evolutionary history that prepares us or primes us, no intellectual architecture to try and grasp the, rem the remoteness of those odds. And so we continue to play. And play. Yes, I know the odds are incredibly small. Uh, I know maths. <laughs> it's, it's, re it's very, very, very remote. If I played every day for the next thousand years, I probably wouldn't win. But it doesn't stop me from playing. I'm not spending, you know, I'm not spending my entire savings on this. As I said, at most I might spend five dollars a week. I go for some months without buying anything. Actually, this price here, if you look up here, I've got $14.75. I haven't in, I haven't made a deposit for about six months because occasionally I do win. I spend a couple more dollars on tickets, um, maybe for a few weeks, don't win anything. And then maybe a couple months later, I win again. And I've been sitting on this money for a long time. So I'm not wasting much money. It's just me having a little bit of fun. Now, again, you shouldn't play the lotto. I recommend anybody who uh, uh, doesn't have much money, don't play this game. It's a waste of your time and money. But I admit that I do it myself, so I'm a bit of a hypocrite for telling you not to do it. Okay, that's all I have to say about the lotto. Uh, does anybody out there play it as well, even though it's against their best judgment? Let me know in the comments. Cheers.